facts about Kansas. Kansas is the sunflower state. We are in the middle of Tornado Alley. Helium was discovered in 1905 at the University of Kansas. Kansas won an award for the most beautiful license plate in 1981. It was a wheat design. In our state, there are 27 creeks named Walnut Creek. Kansas was named after the Kansas Indians in 1854. Dodge City is the windiest city in the United States. We are in Belair, a suburb of Wichita. Belair is so close to Wichita that it is practically part of Wichita. Wichita has about 400,000 people, while Bel Air has about 7,000. Wichita is known as the air capital of the world because Cessna, Beechcraft, Learjet, and Boeing all started here. Beach, uh, Pizza Hut was born here, too. The original Pizza Hut building still exists on the Wichita State campus. Wichita is the home of the Wichita State Shockers. Isley is a big school. Let's learn some things about it. Isley is in Bel Air, Kansas. We are part of Wichita Public Schools. We are the Isley All-Stars. We have ken kindergarten through fifth grade at Isley. I am in third grade. Isley has over 500 students. We have to wear uniforms at Isley. At, wait, our teacher's name is Miss Good. In Miss God's room, we have to write in cursive. Welcome to the Isley Museum of Famous Kansans. Let's take a tour. Okay. Basketball. We all know the sport, but who invented it? That's me, James A. Naismith, the famous Kansan. I'm a Canadian-American inventor, PE teacher, basketball coach, and chaplain. I first got a bachelor's degree in PE, which started my sports career. I went to teach McGill University for a time, and then taught at YMCA International Training College in Springfield, Massachusetts. There, I was asked to make a fun game students will love, and basketball was born because they needed an indoor sport for the cold winter. I started with two peach baskets, which served as goals and 13 basic rules. Basketball became surprisingly very popular everywhere. I was then asked to start a basketball program and coach basketball at the University of Kansas. I, because of my job, I lived in Lawrence, Kansas until I died November 28, 1939, and I claimed Kansas my home. Basketball lived on until it became what it is today a wonderful sport that brings joy and happiness to many people around the world. Social media is exploding. Most people are friending, liking, and even joining my groups. All because I'm the first African-American principal ballet dancer for the American Ballet Theater in New York. In the mornings, I'm Ordinary Misty. On the stage, I'm so different. I'm Misty Copeland, and I was born in Kansas City, Kansas in 1982 and began dancing when I was 13. Is it San Pedro City Ballet? They gave me wonderful training there. My parents were divorced and fighting all the time, so it was a really good escape. I went on to win first place at Music Saturn Spotlight Awards at just age 15. I later then moved to LA. I began my full studies at Burnson Ballet Center and then moved to San Francisco. I got an invitation to the American Ballet Theater's summer intensive classes with a full scholarship. I was ABT's Coca Cola Scholar of 2000. That was also the year I joined Court of Ballet in April. In in August 2007, I was an appointed soloist. Eight years later, in 2015, I was the first ever African-American principal, principal ballet dancer. After that, I wrote many ballets and performed in countless. I am now 33 and still dancing with the American Ballet Theater. poet that wrote about 75 poems by age 16. I was born in Gwendolyn Brooks on June 7, 1910.
1917, in Topeka, Kansas. My family and I moved to Chicago, Illinois when I was about six weeks old as part of the Great Migration. The schools I attended influenced my writing, and by the time I graduated from Wilson Junior College in 1936, I had already published some of my writing. I was 13 when my first poem was published. As I got older, my works appeared in, Sh in the Chicago Defender, a leading African-American newspaper. I was a secretary, although I did writing workshops to help develop my poetic skills. Over the years, I won several awards, including the Guggenheim Fellowship for my first book, A Street in Bronzeville, and the Pulitzer Prize for my second book, Annie Allen. I am the first African-American woman to win the Pulitzer Prize as a poet. My long poem, In the Mecca, was nominated for a National Book Award in Poetry. In 1939, I married Henry Lewington Blakely, Jr., and we had two kids, Henry and Nora. Eventually, I became a college instructor of creative writing, although I still continue to write and publish. That was eight years after the Wright brothers were the first people to successfully fly. I was born on December 5th, 1879 in Hawthorne, Iowa. I was given the name Ned Clyde Cessna by my parents, William and Mary Cessna. When I was one, we moved to my grandfather's farm in Keeman County, Kansas. I claimed Kansas as my home because I have lived here most of my life. My parents told me ever since I was big enough to crawl, I played with tools. I worked in an implement farm repair shop and also sold vehicles. One day in Oklahoma, my life was changed. I drove to an air circus and watched in fascination as the pilots assembled their planes. I want to tell you more. In 1910, I went, I went to New York to work for Queen's Airplane Company. I was president for two years. On my way back to Enid, Oklahoma, I bought, bought parts for my first airplane. Over a number of months, I built and designed my airplane. In 1911, I successfully flew it. I constructed my, my design and, and I improved my design and constructed more uh, airplanes. Because of all my exper experience in flying and building planes, Walter Beach and Lloyd Stearman, two other famous airplane company founders, asked me to be part of, come of Wichita Travel Air, now known as Beach Beechcraft. I accepted and I was president for two years. I was convinced that a single wing plane was a better design. My design became the first commercial airplane to fly successfully from the U.S. mainland to Hawaii. As proof, my cantilever wing model plane held 15,752 pounds. In 1927, I created my business, Cessna Aircraft Company. Two years later, in 1929, I found myself in a financial disaster. Later that year, the stock market crashed and my business closed. Walter Beach rented the space and I went back to farming. Three years later, a new board of directors Directors asked me to come back and restart my business. I, of course, said yes. I never thought my business and I would help Wichita become what people call the air capital of the world. Who played for the Detroit Lions and won multiple trophies and awards before he retired? That was me, Barry Sanders. Some people said I was the best running back in the NFL. I was born July 1968 in Wichita, Kansas. My dad, William, was a carpenter, and my mom, Shirley, was a nurse. At North High, I played football. In the last seven games of my senior season, I rushed almost 1,500 yards in the last seven games. That's almost 200 yards a game. After, many colleges turned me down because of my height. I am pretty short. Finally, I went to Oklahoma State on a sports scholarship. After my college career, in 1989, I was drafted by the Detroit Lions. I soon became famous for my astonishing running style. I won many trophies and awards such as the Heisman Trophy, the Maxwell Award, the, Fro the Walter Camp Award. Ten years after I joined the NFL, in 1999, I retired. I am the first woman to fly 
fly across the Atlantic Ocean alone. I was born on July 24, 1897 in Ashton, Kansas and given the name Amelia Mary Earhart. My sister Grace and I spent lots of time with our grandparents because our father traveled often. I moved to Chicago in 1915 and went to Hyde Park High School. In 1920, I went to Long Beach Air Show, and I knew I wanted to fly an airplane. I had to take on many jobs to earn enough money for flight school. I finally got my pilot's license and became the 16th woman to do so. In 1928, I flew across the Atlantic Ocean only as a passenger. Meanwhile, I was plotting with George Putman to fly around the world. With me was Fred Noonan. Because the trip got delayed, the others bailed. Our maps were not accurate and we were having engine troubles. Eventually, we crossed through the ocean, never completing our journey. It is still assumed we are lost at sea. Thank you for visiting us at the Isley Museum of Famous Kansans. Fossil Realm is one of the activities you can do in Glenrose. Fossil realm is where you are actually in the cage and you drive through about 11 miles of hills and the animals all come up to you for food. Cheetahs. Now the cheetahs don't roam free. The cheetahs are in cages, but it's been very successful. All of the deer, they do a lot of the African antelope and deer. They are really bad about coming up to the car. They just stand there in front of the car waiting for you to stop and feed them. <laughs> we have dinosaur tracks in our riverbeds. So because we have dinosaur tracks in our riverbeds, we also have dinosaur world. It's about 300 dinosaur statues that you go out through the um, bushes and the trees and turn a corner and there's a dinosaur statue. statue. We have what's called the Texas Amphitheater. It's an open air theater up on top of a hill. And one of the shows that they have there every year is The Promise. It runs um, kind of in the fall on Saturday and Friday nights. And it's the Life of Christ Passion Play type show. Dinosaur Valley State Park is where you can go out and actually walk in the dinosaur tracks. This used to be the edge of the ocean many, many years ago and the dinosaurs walked in mud. And then that mud hardened into solid rock and the rivers washed down to the bottom layer of where the rocks are that the dinosaur tracks are in.
And you see a famous trackway of the tracks. You see the three-toed footprints. Those are Archrocanthosaurus. Looked a lot like T-Rex, just a little bit smaller. And then the big round footprints are made by a dinosaur that was named for the river that flows through Glenrose called the Paluxysaurus. They used to call him a Brachiosaurus or an Apatosaurus. They decided his head looked a little different and they gave him a whole new name. In Texas, it gets really hot in the summers. So we like to play in water. There was a picture of the Paluxy River. This is our arena here at the school. Y'all were talking about basketball um, in the group before. So there's our basketball arena. We're a very small school, whereas Wichita is a pretty good sized town. We're a small town. We only have one school per level. We're the Glen Rose Tigers. But we have very nice facilities because we have a nuclear power plant in our backyard. So we have been blessed. So the Texas symbols come up next. Raise your hand if y'all have armadillos in Kansas. No, we do. Got a couple of hands up. We see lots of armadillos. See them dead on the road a lot. Blue bonnets. Our state flower. Our flag. We actually have a state large mammal, which is the longhorn, and then we have a state small mammal. So we have two different state mammals. There's our state bird, the mockingbird. Texas. Uh, there's 
our father to smart, brave, and political, who lived to fight for Texas, who said that Texas should be free, who cared about Texas being free, who was determined to run for office to beat Santa Ana, who refused to burn San Antonio to the ground, who made a difference by being Texas senator, and who was remembered for fighting in the government. Okay. Okay. Texas, the Empire State, governed by the people, people not Texas. 
the Trump Pact ruled by the corporate lobbyists. Who cared about Texas being ruled by people, who was determined to make a faster way to travel, who refused to let Texas be ruled by the government, who made a difference by making a law forcing only corporations to sell off their holdings in 15 years, or as remembered for establishing a railroad commission. Right now, he's working with Fossil Rim, 
and our student council to help um, raise money for Fossil Rim, and so we've got to do a lot of neat things with them this year, too. So what are your fine arts rotations that are here? Uh, we do music, art, keyboarding, Our music keyboard and keys, what they are saying. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Good question. Um, I, I, I say it's built by a neighborhood, and some students can walk or ride their bikes to school. Um, we also have 18 buses for students to come to our school. How do you guys get to school? So, so how many of you ride the bus to school? Raise your hand. You okay. ride a bus.
Is it cold or hot in the summer? Hot. 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 Very hot. It's hot. 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 It's hot. either very hot or very cold. cold. There's still hot. a temperature. We, we, get, we usually get around the 80s. Maybe. No, no. Oh. The summer. We're probably 95 to 105. Yeah, 95 to 100. 95 to 105 in the yeah. summer. Yeah. So you get 105? Maybe here it needs to be winter. Do you want to plant stuff out there? What? Do they want to plant things? Like crops? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have two apple trees in my backyard. Last year we did a garden, so yeah. We have cattle right across the street from our school. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we have cows. Sometimes we have cows. Sometimes we have horses and cows. Okay, Abby. Abby, you want to go We're the largest. Well, tell them we're the so largest. How many people are in your town? Well, we're the largest city in Kansas. Oh, wow. 400,000? 400, 400,000, I think. Yeah. Around 400,000 people. Wichita yeah. is, is 400,000, while Bel Air only has like 7,000 or something. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Something like that. Well, and then there's a couple of other big cities. Yeah. Yeah. Nice nice question. Question. <clears throat> we, we have another question for you. Do you okay. take state assessments or big yes, we do. pipe? Have you taken we them do. yet? Have you taken them yet? Um, no. We take. We're taking um, in fourth grade. We take a writing test, so we take that um, in uh, at the end of March, and then in May we will take a reading assessment and a math assessment. What about you guys? Do you take state assessments? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. and like yeah. March and April. Yeah. Next, next week. Next week. Yeah, next week. Yeah, next, yeah, yeah, next week. That's when it's starting. Mm -hmm. Next week. Well, good luck. I hope you do well. Thanks. Thanks. You, you too. too. You yeah. too. You too. Okay, Keenan. Do y'all grow figs? No. No. No figs. No figs. So what y'all have for lunch today? Um, I had a turkey sandwich. We all had sandwich. We all had sandwiches. Bring your own lunch? Yeah. 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 No, I didn't. I Almost all of them brought their lunch from home and had sandwiches. But okay. how many of you brought your lunch from home? Oh. Yeah. How many of you ate in the cafeteria? <laughs> um, so today in the cafeteria they had spaghetti, or yeah. they could have a grilled cheese sandwich, or salad. Or salad. Or salad. Or salad. Or salad. Or salad. That sounds so I, good. I, I we had know. chicken sandwiches. Um, we had chicken. Uh, was there a barbecue thing? No, there wasn't. No, no. it was a chicken. Chicken. Yeah, yeah, chicken nacho sandwich. Nachos. Yeah, there was. Nacho nachos. Chicken, nacho nachos. Chicken, nacho nachos. Chicken, nacho nachos. Chicken sandwich and salad. Chicken sandwich or salad yeah. is what they did. We have into a stain name. Yeah. Yeah. Picking yeah. a blanket. Mostly <laughs> alliterations. What do y'all? What do y'all? Um, okay, hold on. Free. Just start. Go. What do you do in your free um, time? Coding. Read and play on my tablet. Uh, Fast. Okay. Um, uh, play outside. Anything electronic or dance related? Sure. Basketball. I like well. to read and write. Read, study politics, and study business. <laughs> read and draw. I like to do electronics and then hang outside. I like to read and play volleyball. I love do you all have AR goals? Uh, no, no, we we used to, but no, what is like, what AR? AR? One at a time. Yeah. We don't have it at our school anymore. What was it? 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 Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so, uh, Alex, turn around. What is the name of it? State fruit. What is your state fruit? We don't. We don't uh, have. We don't have a state. We don't have state flower. 
But how do you say your state tree? How do you say what? So you may. How do you pronounce it? 